Hello and welcome to my video series. Today we're going to be talking about the verbs. Now, as you can see, oh goodness, I'm sorry, but um, as you can see, uh, we are now using a new computer. Uh, yes, it's a very good news, but um, what we had to do was I had to go and, um, as you see in last video, we had the, well, I got the viruses, as you saw from the blue screen, and my computer was destroyed. So I had to go get a new uh, computer, so I bought one from a friend uh, for $200, it had the Windows XP on it, so I took it, and I guess now we're using the Windows XP now. It's got a lot of, um, yeah, so I lost some files, and I lost a lot of the stuff from my previous videos, but that's okay, because we'll get it all back, everything will be fine. So, um, as you can see, we've got a problem, um, I got, I also decided to get better protections, because, um, the virus last time, so I got a new, uh, virus protector, called the Happy Antivirus, so it's, it's been working pretty good, it's been capturing a lot of viruses, so my computer is actually protected, so we shouldn't get any more blue screens, which is very good. So here we go, um, I'll go ahead and, uh, oh, well, um, alright, uh, I captured it. So anyway, that's not what we're talking about today, though. As I, as I said, uh, now that we've got the news out of the way, and as you can see, we're also using a bigger resolution, because the uh, my, this computer can take it, and as you can see, we got more colors, it's in full color. This is uh, quite momentous, so as you can see, we're, we are, we're moving up in the world. We're moving up in the world, and um, Happy Antivirus is catching these left and right. Um, there we go, there we go. So now, as you, um, yeah, so there we go. Today we're going to be learning about, as I said, the VUBS. The VUBS. So the first step in learning the VUBS is we'll go ahead and open up our integrated development environment. Good old uh, notepad. Notepad as always. Alright, so here we go. So... <sighs> To learn the verbs, first we must. All right. First, we what we must do is uh, we must. Um, well, first I'm going to show you a hello world application. So uh, to do that, it's actually quite simple in the verbs. All you have to do is msg box. I'm not sure what it means, but it's the, basically a print statement. And then we can put in a string, and then we say hello. Uh, can never just remove it. I always have to activate it. So here we go. Now we're doing the hello world. We do one of these, and then we do save, and we have to go to um, uh, let's see my documents. I guess here we'll go ahead and uh, put down some new folder. Here we go new folder. We'll do the on. So many viruses, I don't know where all these are coming from, it's just bizarre, I can't believe I got so many, no wonder my computer last time crashed, I mean it was just, it must have gotten so full of viruses, but, well I guess now we're getting it fixed. So now we do the tech tricks, and now we do the, uh, we'll call this, oh yes, and then we have this. we'll call this ep 8 Maybe if I just leave this here. Alright. So ep 8vubs Alright. It's saved. Now let's go get it. There. Alright. Um, the documents. Tech tricks. Alright. So now we run it. And hello world! See? Very simple to do. So now I'm going to teach you how to do some more complex things. Like um, we can uh, create an array and we can loop through it. So we'll do that. Um, actually I don't remember how to do that. But uh, so I can show you how to do something else though, because you see the VUBS is uh, has a lot of control over the Windows as it, it was integrated directly into the system. Because um, Bill Gates himself wrote a 1,000 lines of code to integrate VUBS directly into Windows. That way you could do everything from it. Because actually most programs are written in the VUBS, like uh, the um, most of these games here were written in VUBS. That's VUBS. I believe that actually my uh, 
my um, antivirus program is also written in VUBS. And this, uh, all kinds of these programs, I mean, um, Internet Explorer was written in VUBS, so actually VUBS is a very good language, it's used all over Windows, very, very good, so I'm going to teach you how you can use some of the more uh, low-level aspects of the language. So first, we have to create, uh, let's uh, do one of these, uh, so we know what to do, and then we do and then we do create object to create an object now I'll go ahead and I'll explain how this works after I finish the code It'll be easier that way so let me just finish this wait I already wrote that line There. There we go. And now we finished it, so we can do S. So now I'll tell you what exactly each of the pieces of code does. So first, there is the... Uh, now first, this first line, it puts some text into this uh, data store called str text. And then we have to set another data store, and then we have to create an object. And what that does is it takes a, it uh, loads a file from the um, the uh, system32 directory directly into memory, and then it pulls code out, and then it shoves it into um, the uh, create object, which then puts it into this data store. And then we can then uh, do the the dot speak, which then uh, it th basically it tells the uh, the um, data store to speak. So kind of like a dog, we tell it to speak, and then it speaks. So now we tell it to speak, and then we put in the text, and it speaks it. And then we set the, uh, right here, we set this, and base it to another data store. And then this, wscript.createObject. And then it does, we put that in, and we just kind of do it again and again, and we put the do. And then the do does some stuff. Do basically tells it to do something. These it didn't actually do because the windows had to do this. But with this, here we tell the, um, basically the do, we're telling the voobs to do it instead. So we tell the do, and then it does some things, it does some more stuff, and a loop, and then basically the loop, uh, it uh, tells it to do it again. And it just, and then voobs does it again and again and again. And that's how this basically works. And then, and yeah, so now you know how it works. So basically we're going to uh, hit this. And um, it's going to create. So yes, it's a very useful program, especially when you need to delete a lot of files. You can just uh, open this up and uh, use it to delete files. I'll show you how you can do that in a moment. All right, here we go. Backing up. Now, as you can see, it's now uh, backing it up. It's backing it up quite well. See, it now deleted the entire file. Um, yeah, it's basically gone now. It, you, could, you could delete all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll show you how we can delete. Um, oh, right. Well, basically, we could use this to. Uh, oh boy. Excuse me one moment. Trying to find... Alright, so I guess let's just open this up. We can open it with what? Come on. Oh, great. Oh, well, um, I don't think that's going to be able to work. As you can see, it's... Uh, 
Well, that's basically it. I mean, now you know how to use the verbs. Um, So, um, yes, um, I'm no longer able to write any more code, so I guess that is the end of the examples. I'm very sorry, but that is the end. I, uh, as you can see, it's deleting everything. I cannot write more code. I, I guess I should have thought about that before I actually created everything. So, uh, now it's basically gone. But now you know how to use the boobs. It's a powerful language. It's very good. Uh... I hope that you learned a lot. Um, it was, uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope I can see you in the next video. Um, it's going to be about the, um, if I can even write anything, uh, well, it's going to be about uh, the, the C. The C. I, I try to spell it for you, but this thing won't let me. You, you could kind of see it, see? That C, you could kind of see it, the C there. So you know it. It's, it's the C. So uh, you, that's what we're learning next time. Um, so yeah. And now you know how to use it. I better try to... Oh crap, I can't push anything. Well, that's the end. Thank you for watching and goodbye.